and has really been an entertaining guy, Nathaniel Miles. He was knocked down in the fourth Bucks round of that bout. He won a six-round decision. He won it right in a right hand by Gonzalez. Knocks down Lederlo. Back up that broke the spirit of the fight against Max Heyman. He was being shut out in that fight. Watch your heads in there. And normally when a guy goes down and ooh, he got wobbled again from a left hand. Lo, you just never know. Gonzalez still better pay attention to his P's and sudden. When you start fighting the other guy's fight, getting in too close. And as you said, let alone used to coming off the... In fact, Gonzalez thought this fight that you thought was going to be real tight. I can go inside and you can make mistakes. Let alone letting that right hand go. Let alone oh, drop early in this first round. Oh, that wobble the guy who, who's more raw. Let alone... Gonzalez is the much more polished man. No side too. He's good at that. I think he should stay on the first round for Julio Gonzalez. Dropping left. Again, Gonzalez will have to fight the temptation after that early knockdown to go inside. He still should be on the outside. I don't care how well he does on the inside. He's better off on the outside. He's going to give let a little chance to land something to short a man. And the puncher, let alone does have that eraser in his gloves. They can pull him from behind with that power. Right now, Gonzalez not using his height. Even though he's getting the better of it, I said it early. He can fight inside outside. But why fight inside if that's the only thing your opponent can do? Let alone happy. Right now, the Gonzalez is close to him. Both guys say they're going to each fight expecting a war. And round number two, starting out just that way. Hey, what? Gonzalez has landed some pretty good body shots there. Yeah, he's got a less experienced guy in front of him. He's trying to take some of the desire. And he can pull fights out of the fire. And that fight against Jenkins here on Friday night fights back. As we said, technically the more polished guy, no doubt about it, Gonzalez. But when he gets in close, he evens things up a little bit. Because let alone with the less experience now, when he's in close. Oh, good right hand by Gonzalez. He ran. Saw the numbers here in the round. Big numbers for Gonzalez. He might be playing right into let alone hands. But I'm going to tell you again, he's fighting the wrong fight. He could be in close. And I'm sure the corner can't be happy. They're happy that he's ahead, but he's too close to let alone the shorter man. Let alone did erase Jenkins and Heyman with that left hook. It's still a bad place for him to be. He should be stay pay for every inch to get closer. There he goes. Exactly. Count the punch. Exactly what we're talking about. Right hand by Lederlow. Look how Lederlow is instinctually is pretty good. He got caught there a little bit too. That might have been a knockdown. The referee wasn't sure whether or not to step in. Because Lederlow got up so quick. And what's the instincts to be? And Gonzalez walks in there with himself. Fighting this fight on the inside. You're wrong. You might win it, but you're taking a lot more chances, you're giving your opponent a chance to win the fight. You're not supposed to do that if you don't have to do that. Gonzalez don't have to do that. Isn't it just his instinct though? I mean, this is the way he fights, even though he's taller, he fights like this. That instinct has to be controlled, that pride has to be controlled. The emotion must be controlled. It's called the sweet science. Letter low went down here in round three, it's Gonzalez who hit the canvas. Good shot to the body by Gonzalez. This fourth round underway. Take a look at the punch numbers through three rounds and decidedly in favor of Gonzalez. Although Lederlo had a very good round number three. He said earlier, Lederlo is a little less popular. The guy is close to Gonzalez. He doesn't allow Gonzalez to use his experience so much. It becomes a fight of power. A fight of will. Let alone can do pretty good in that kind of fight. Let alone land a nice combination inside. Right hand over the top. Gonzalez to the right of his own. Let alone hurting Gonzalez. Plenty of heart. Both
both of these guys. That's why we knew this fight would be a great fight. There's a lot of... Well, they both do effective work. Although Leonard Lowe probably is the better man on the inside. Even though Leonard Lowe is much more, much cleaner when it comes to the experience and technique he has. I was starting to mention with the last one. He has good instincts. Watch how he'll punch at the right time. He's looking for the right moment. Let's go something to catch Gonzalez. Going for Gonzalez to leave himself open. You don't need to say a lot about this. These two guys are just getting it done. Been down once. Let her low. The first minute of the fight. Gonzalez goes down from the left hook. That's the bread and butter punch for Let her low. We'll find out how good right now. But again, Gonzalez not you. Lederlo doesn't have tremendous technique to work his way in. It's Gonzalez that's enabling Lederlo to get inside. Yes, it is. We said that right at the beginning. And his corner should have been all over that. The good news for Gonzalez is Lederlo throws wide, so there's room for Gonzalez who throws the crisper punches, the snappier punches, to still catch, even at this fight, the wrong fight, he can still catch Lederlo inside. Let alone would be well served to start going to the body. He's missing a lot to the head. He goes to the body, he'll slow that head movement down of Gonzalez. He also takes something out of the tank, Gonzalez, because this fight at the most left at the end. And whoever goes to the body will be able to dictate that a little bit. Blood from the mouth of Letterlo. Placing punches. He has good instincts. He'll take little steps back and try to create room for punches. Does it in a raw sort of way. A little bit crude. Experience and polish. He doesn't have a lot of time to get it. He's 31 years old. That's why he's fighting so many tough fights so quick. Well, Gonzalez was dropped for the second time in this fight. Face the fight as a pro. Letterlo has a draw. If you just looked at the punches landed, you'd say Gonzalez is probably pitching a shutout. But no. He dropped twice in this fight. Gonzalez where he should not be. I never got to say welcome back, but welcome back. But I made it a 10-8 round, but I could see you could argue for a 10-9 because Gonzalez came back. Yeah, I made a 10-9 for Letterlo because I thought Gonzalez did plenty in the rest of the fight. Advantage of those holes like that. But then he stood up and he got caught with Mr. K.O. Letterlo lets Leather go. As he got caught, he came right back with the left hook and caught Gonzalez admiring his work. Young fighters at home, don't admire your work. If you throw something, move after your punch. Don't take a picture. Because sometimes you're going to be hitting a real tough son of a gun like Letterlo. Hey, Gonzalez's balance seems to be a little bit off too. At all this round. And Gonzalez down in the third round that you just came back from that you pulled. Not a lot of defense. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Plenty of offense. And still in there. Just we are Bob taking punches like this on a consistent. Lenolo is like a light heavyweight version of Arturo Gatti. Not unbelievable box. Late. Gonzalez has less of an excuse, has better skills. Those more defensive technique. When you have less experience, that's what suffers the most in the real war. Your defense. And that a good body shot there. Right to the solar plexus. That was a real good body shot by Gonzalez to let alone. And he takes the headshots, but those body shots, they're harder to take. I think he has to be in close to go to the body. Let alone range. Talk about green fighters, raw fighters, their defense not being as good. Let alone makes up for his lack of defense as being in close. And when he and the lack of defense ability. Well, 
Gonzalez has kept most of this round near the outside at least. Lenolo hasn't been able to get a lot done. But his lack of experience, lack of developed skills, part of his fight he depends on plays did when they've been on the floor. Teddy has I'm not saying Lenolo's going to break down, but that's one less bullet in the chamber. Teddy though, Gonzalez is here on the inside, much as he's done in the earlier rounds. And it could be what we're talking about, not being in a situation before when he landed his power and the guy came back at him. Being just a little bit confused about that. A little bit discouraged about that. And that could slow you down a little bit. The idea as long as you're there to go to the body because we talked about it earlier. Even though earlier it didn't look like it was going to go all the way, but as the rounds go on, whoever goes to the body more is going to take it right down to the stretch. And those body punches could be important. Lenolo lost the mouthpiece as he ate a right hand. Fight is a very rare event. Last three or four rounds. He's kept the fight to the outside a bit more. And let alone not throwing as much inside when they do get close. And out go Gonzalez from a counter shot. Fighting the wrong fight. He didn't stay outside Six. long enough. Fighting. Seven. He says he's okay. Third down, Gonzalez has been down. And a right hand by Lenerlow. Mr. K.O.'s going to get a K.O. He's stepping back, giving himself room to punch. Gonzalez can't tie him, he say, by the bell in any round. Can he make the last 13 seconds of this 10th round? Gonzalez doing it on sheer will right now. That's not a knockdown, that's a trick. No, but it serves its purpose. It kills sometimes. And there's the bell to fight. That happened when I had... The third, the fifth. He got up, and I thought he won the rest of by that one point. I thought they did a good dominated the round except for the knockout. Let me see, see how the judges scored that fifth round for Lenolo. And Lenolo goes down from a combination. He said it was a slip, but they're fit. But it's not the kind of knockdown. But if this round stays close. And neither of these guys has ever suffered a loss. Zero intact in his record. Lenolo has scored two knockdowns with his right hand in this fight and one from Lenolo. Loses his mouthpiece as he got tagged. He's lost it once before in this fight. What a fight, Bob. What a fight. It's early, but it's the fight of the year. <laughs> what a performance by Julian Letterlow and Julio Gonzalez. Five knockdowns in the fight. And Gary Merritt scores the bout 114 109. All for your winner of the unified title and new IBA continental champion, Julio Gonzalez. Well, Teddy, Julio Gonzalez got the unanimous decision win. Hard fought effort against Julian Letterlow.